Looking for anything in particular? Uh, no. Among the vintage soda machines and pink flamingos. How about $5? I'll settle with you. And Cynthia Marie's Highway 2 antiques and collectibles. <laughs> sit artifacts of a bygone era. You know, from like the early 1990s. I've actually had people ask me what it is. It's like, really? In case you don't recognize them, kids, these are telephone booths, the original mobile phones. And I remember putting napkins over the receivers because they were so dirty and icky and talking through the napkins and running out of change and getting hung up on. Cynthia recently bought 60 of them from Frontier Communications. Do you need a phone booth? With a hunch that customers would come yeah. calling. They are the new antique. She's right. They're selling faster than you can flip through a phone book with only about 10 left. And I've sold so many to movie sets and TV sets. And I just sold one to Cirque du Soleil, showers, restrooms, I won't go into detail. One man bought a booth as yard art, but a family of birds decided it would make a better place to raise a family. The repurposed relics are now popping up all over. You don't see phone booths anymore. Keith Stalker bought a pair to help families connect at his Snohomish farm. It'll be mom, dad, what's that? And you know, so now mom and dad have an opportunity to talk about their childhood and their experiences and you know, running around and looking for a quarter in the dish every time they saw a phone booth, right? That's how we grew up. The booths go for about $340 to $450 each and come as is. There's a lot of cigarette burns, definitely gum, cooties included. <laughs> cooties and all, the booths are a connection to our disappearing past. Soon as mythical as, say, the VCR. <laughs> or maybe even Bigfoot. In Sultan, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.